Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching, welcome back. So I have my weekly melting basket. Uh, what I plan to pull from to warm this week. And um, I decided to transition to fall scents. Um, so I've already transitioned out all of my wax and I put my summer wax up, pulled out my fall wax. And um, this week's candle is Bath and Body Works Toasted Cinnamon Sugar. Uh, so what I do is I have a candle warmer in my open concept and I use a candle all week in that candle warmer. It supplements whatever scents I plan to warm for the week in my wax warmers. And there's no flame, um, so the candle warmer works perfectly. This just fits right down inside that candle warmer melts it from bottom up and disperses scent into the room. Um, so toasted cinnamon sugar is warm cinnamon, brown sugar crumble, sweet glaze. And this candle actually smells a lot like, to me, like a cheesecake. Almost like that cream cheese kind of note. And you get like the toasted cinnamon and sugar. It's really good. So I thought this would be a good neutral faucet uh, because what I want to try to do is get through all of the new scents from Scentsy. Um, so the 10 new fragrances, the Gordy collection, um, Gordy Goodness collection, and the Harvest collection. And that way I can give reviews next week um, on how all of those perform in my home. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through um, what I pulled out. And um, I pulled out berry apple shortbread. Now I have made like samples and so forth with this. So I'm going to have to do like alternating warmers with scents. Um, so I'll go over the what I decided to pair up. I'm looking forward to warming this because this is going to be my telltale sign of what I'm going to repurchase come the first. Uh, so I have the cherry chestnut. That's one of the 10 new scents. And then I have this winter cranberry beach from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is cranberry frosted coconut, apple musk, and beach nights. Um, so I was going to pair those together. And then I have pistachio woods. And I thought what might be good to compare is this milk, or pair with it, milk and sugar beach nights blend. Um, it's milk, sugar, vanilla extract, condensed milk, toasted marshmallow, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores. And then, um, planning to pair my balsam spice with Alpine Escape. Both of these are part of the 10 new scents. Definitely tree scents. And then um, thinking of doing the Cinnamon Woods and Hollow Harvest together. Now I'm going to alternate warmers and not do same warmer because I want to try to be able to distinguish how the throw is on both of the scents. Uh, and that way I can give, like I said, a good review next week of how they performed in my home. Spirited, spiced and spirited and pumpkin sticky bun. I'm thinking of doing those two and alternating warmers. I'm really excited to see how this spiced and spirited performs. For some reason, I really like this. It's almost got like um, that bakery. Um, it kind of reminds me like that everything, I think it's everything nice that was in the Bring Back My Bar. But I did just get a whiff of more of those spices on that. Um, so looking forward to seeing how that goes. thinking of pairing these together, gingerbread pecan waffles and brown butter pumpkin. Uh, 
these two uh, white peach and cranberry and hay rides. I thought they would be um, super fresh. Apple spice season and sparkling spiced citrus. I don't know if I have a pairing with this one yet, but I'll have to think this through. Uh, Peaks and Pines. I'm definitely looking forward to how this performs because uh, this one is one I loved on cold. It's just really good. It's definitely like a, it smells like it'll be super strong and it's kind of like a winter type scent to me. I have pumpkin roll, very good pumpkin. I have um, another Beach Nights Shea Butter Beach blend to put with those. And then um, here's a mixed suggestion that I saw on actually Facebook. So frosted cinnamon roll and honey crisp harvest, one to one in the same warmer. So I have that mix pulled out to work on. Let you, I'll let you know how that goes next week. And then um, I pulled out some fall um, scents to get through with Sassy Girl. So fall pomegranate, which is a pomegranate, apple, and plum. I think it's supposed to be similar to the Bath and Body Works scent. Um, is it fall? I think it's like a, I forget, it's like something fall. And then honey pine cones. This was like a unique scent to me. Firewood honey anchored by orange flower, white woods, Icelandic pine cone, and cashmere musk. And then I did pull out to my honeybee birthday cake from Rose Girls. I absolutely love this scent. It's sweet, sticky honey and birthday cake. It's just like a honey um, cake kind of scent. Um, if you liked Buzzworthy, you'd probably like this scent. But if you didn't, you wouldn't like it. I pulled out Cornbread Muffin from Sassy Girl. I thought that might be something good to go alternating with some of those scents. And then Buried Alive which is blueberry, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, and cornbread. So I think that might go with the um, gingerbread waffles. All right. And then these are all, oh, I think this is the one that I had pulled to go with the berry crumble. Is that what it's called? called um, Berry Apple Shortbread is this beach crumble. So it's blueberry, lemon, butter, vanilla, milk, and beach nights. Um, I thought that would go nice with that. All right, as far as bathroom scents, I still have these ongoing ones that I keep throwing into the tub to work through. Uh, Band Books which is like an old library kind of scent. Rain in the Back Roads, Make It Rain, and Rainy Night in the Library. So Rainy Night, mas they're kind of more like masculine scents. Um, Don't Rain on My Parade, which is a freshly cut grass, aqua di Gio, rain, and salty sea air. It is more of like a masculine rain scent as well. More a, like cologne-y. I still have Pima Cotton, pulled out to work in the bathroom and that's it that's everything I pulled out for this weekly melting basket I'm excited to warm all of these fall scents and then um, let you know how they do in my home next week thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one